Hey guys, you're watching Sims Under Candlelight. Here I'm going to be decorating the kitchen, dining, and half bath of Ariel and Riley's house. Uh, as you can see, um, I have already done the living room. So if you want to watch the living room, please check the links below in the description. I'll have the description for the entire living room. There are two parts for that as well. Here it is, just in case you don't want to watch it, but there you go. So I started with picking a counter. I really love the EA Modern looking ones. However, since they are modern, changing the style of them is really up to how you do the patterns. So picking the pattern to go with the cabinets might be difficult for a lot of people. I know it was for me for the longest time. But what I like to do is pull a color from the floors and as you see in the floor there's a really light grain a darker grain but then in there you just see that really really dark color um, you can either choose the lightest color or the darkest color to pull into your cabinets so after I find the wood pattern in the right color that I want um, I need to find a nice tile or stone to go with it and because the floor is more of a tan color I really thought this tan pulled in the color of the walls and the floors like I know the wall is blue but I think it I mean it looks nice together it flows nicely so then I just add the style to the island piece and fill in the rest of the kitchen. I think taking it in this U shape allows me to communicate to the people in the kitchen while I'm in the living room and from the living room to the kitchen, you know, make it feel open and flowing. Looking for a bar stool. Um, I want one that doesn't really look country yet it doesn't look modern something that kind of resembles both but then also resembles manly and feminine so I try to go for a manly style and then the colors and textures be more feminine so after I find the style I want I decide to change the colors to pull in the pink from the pillow in the living room. I thought I would try white wood to see if it looked nice from like pulling the white out of the countertops but it just didn't go the way I liked it so I decided to just use the wood from the counter and use it on the chairs and darken it a tad. When looking for a sink, I like to literally grab ones that say sink in the label or ones that actually look like kitchen sinks. I think choosing the small little circle sinks, those are not meant for kitchens. Those look like bathroom sinks. So really, just to get it out there, please try to get sinks that actually look like kitchen sinks and don't use the round ones and... I don't know. I just don't like them. You can use whatever you want. But from someone that likes to decorate, I think if you want to make a kitchen, make it look like a kitchen. Don't make it look like you're in a bathroom when you're in your kitchen. Just because it's for your Sims doesn't mean they won't want to have a nice kitchen sink. Okay? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But really, pick better sinks, people. <laughs> So after adding the microwave and the blender and taking the same textures from the refrigerator to both of them, that way it looks that way it looks nice and matches the stove. But here you see I placed some cabinets, but I didn't use the big blocky ones that match the counters. And I did this because I don't want the whole bulky modern look. I want it to be open so like I said I can talk to people in the living room while I'm in the kitchen even though they don't necessarily don't do all that but 
still, it makes it open instead of blocking it off to in that corner to make that kitchen feel smaller. So I moved them in a little bit the way I wanted them to be. So then I started looking for some curtains for in the kitchen. I mean, I know that there's a lot of windows, so I felt the need that I needed to cover these four windows up just to make it not feel like everyone is looking in on someone while they're in the kitchen. I mean, it just it's smarter for me to do that because I want the open windows in the living room. I want to feel like enough sunlight's coming through, but when I'm in the kitchen, I don't need to have all the windows, especially when in my dining room behind me, I have plenty of windows with enough natural light coming through too. So, picking which windows have curtains or putting it on all the windows. I mean, it's really up to you. It all depends on what type of curtains you choose, but I picked these and I matched it with the fabric on the sofa in the living room just to draw it in, which the diamond pattern on the countertops goes perfectly with the diamond patterns on the curtains and on the couch. So, it's a win-win. Now, I added a plate stack to the top of the shelf and I decided I needed to use the OMSPs so I could add more and more stuff to the same shelf. Um, next, I wanted to find something else like cups or something that you would literally have on a shelf in your kitchen. Um, I found what I started to do is I started pulling things that I knew I would want out while I was digging through what I was looking for. So that way, I mean, it saves time. You don't have to go back look for it again and again. But sometimes something just draws your eye and you're like, oh, that would look really good in this kitchen. So you grab it. That's what I did with those apples. Um, I thought they would look really nice. I mean, the light tan color went with the countertops and the floor and the green just pulled out from the sofa and the window curtains I mean it's really good to add splashes of color like you know how we did the pink pillow on the sofa you use green apples on the countertop it's just an easy way to add extra color to the space Holding down the Alt button, of course, when I'm moving the OMSPs, it's just so much easier to place it exactly where you want to. I just, of course, just moved it a little bit closer and moved it down a couple more, and that way it just lined up better. I mean, of course, it's not lined up perfectly, but whose stuff in their cabinet is going to be lined up perfectly? Then, of course, you know me, I decided to add a little plant to the last shelf. I mean, I could have added more things like pots maybe, but I thought, you know, with all this counter space, I don't need pots up on my shelf, so why wouldn't I just add a nice little decoration on the end? Um, then I decided to add another one to the corner of the kitchen. It just makes it homier, you know, plants are amazing. <laughs> so, just added another one. And while looking for a light fixture, I didn't want one that was too low. So finding one that would match the color of my room was kind of tricky. Um, this light fixture here, as you can see, the top was blue. But when I went to cast tool, I couldn't change the blue color. So eventually I just had to scrap it. and find another one, which I did find one that I liked better anyways, and it helped with the room pulling in the tan color, so 
it brought your eyes up to the ceiling as well. Next, I wanted to find a little rug. I mean, I don't want a huge rug in the kitchen. But um, I just used the patterns that I have as favorites and pulled the pink again from the pillow. I think most people know this, but having a rug in front of your sink is really a smart thing to do. So that's where I place it anyways because it's where normal usage of a rug would be in your kitchen. Next I decided I wanted something nice to pull this area together more. The emptiness was just a little too much for me. There's enough room for sitting so like when they get in their chairs they're not stuck in any slots or anything like that. So a painting seemed like the perfect and easiest thing to add to the empty space. So then I remembered I had made this painting and I mean it has the tans, the blues, it's a, the middle color that looks white kind of has a pink tint to it and then the yellow, I know it's not exactly yellow or exactly pulling in the green color but I thought it would be great. So that's it for part one. The next part will be the dining room and the bathroom. I hope you enjoyed and just click to watch part two, like and comment and subscribe and leave me requests. Thanks.